So today we're making um, some black eyed peas, but we're gonna do it with a little bit of a Northern Indian twist um, because actually we make black eyed peas in North India and the flavors of just a few aromatics really boost, um, you know, this riff on Hoppin' John. I soak these overnight, but honestly, if you only have four or six hours, that is plenty. If you're soaking them overnight, put them in the refrigerator because it'll kind of slow um, the absorption down a little bit. So this is about three quarters of a pound. Usually you can buy them in one pound bags. And if you want to have some around for leftovers, just use the whole bag. Um, and this is three quarter pound after soaking. So you can see what a huge difference this makes. Um, so just put them in a bowl that's a little too big for you know, the amount of peas you have because they will swell up considerably and cover them generously with water. When you're ready to cook, strain them off and they'll be nice and much softer. And you're just gonna um, cook these with just a few aromatics because the entire flavor profile of this is gonna happen at the end. You're gonna um, use a technique, whether you know it or not, called tharka, which is an Indian technique of infusing a dish with spices, not just in the beginning, um, like we do with the mirepoix, sauteing aromatics in the beginning is great, but adding that last layer of spices really gives you a, a whole plethora of flavors. So you have some deep aromatic base from what you started with, and then the brightness and the freshness of um, all of your finishing spices and aromatics. So go ahead and put your soaked peas in a nice big pot and cover it with a couple of inches of water. So peas with about that much water above. And we're just gonna add some raw chopped onion and a little bit of ginger. And you can do whatever you, whatever you like. You can add thyme, you can add some garlic in here if you'd like, you can even add a little powdered turmeric. That's about all there is to it. You can do this in a crock pot, um, you know, set it in the morning and by the time you get home from work, they're nice and cooked. You can do it in an instant pot. A pressure cooker really reduces the cooking time. I'm gonna move this over so And that's on low. I'm gonna get my pan heated. And in the meantime, you'll remember that we didn't season our peas with salt at all at this point. Um, that was awkward. And they're gonna need a good amount of seasoning. And you can see that there is just enough liquid to sort of cover them. Um, if for some reason your water boils out before your peas are tender, you can add a little bit more water. There's really no stress about this and just check them. A pinch more salt. And now we're going to finish them up with another layer of ar aromatics. This is, they're delicious, but they're really plain. So why not give them the boost that we can? So we got our pan heated up here. Try to not use a nonstick, just a stainless pan or even a cast iron would be fine. I'm using olive oil. Um, this is great with ghee, which is uh, clarified butter. I don't have any on hand, so I'm just gonna use a little butter. You can just use all olive oil or canola or any combination of a good, nicely flavored oil. We wanna get our fat pretty hot. Okay, so our got a nice hot pan with uh, olive oil and butter, and we're gonna add some whole cumin seeds. And now we're gonna add our onions. And we're gonna add celery and a little carrot. And we're gonna season this with a little salt. And while this is going, I'm gonna chop up a, a hot pepper. This is a green cayenne pepper, which uh, grows in North Carolina in the summer. And I'm not gonna take the seeds out. I really like the heat that this particular pepper brings. And I cut it into four little pieces or four uh, quarters and just proceed to chop all the way down. Go ahead and add that into your aromatics. And we're gonna add the rest of our ginger. 
And we're going to add a little pepper. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more oil. And as soon as your garlic is nice and fragrant, you can add your coriander. And I'm going to boost my heat with a little cayenne pepper. You can skip that if you don't like it hot. And we're going to put in a little tomato paste. So you'll see that this is kind of a, a little mash on the side here. And the tomato paste is no longer raw. You can go ahead and combine this whole thing together. And we've got such a great fond over here. All of that is delicious flavor. We're going to deglaze that with a little white wine. Make sure you scrape up all of that caramelization and combine it with everything else. And we're just cooking the alcohol off. If you don't want to use wine, you can use a little bit of broth. Add your pureed whole tomatoes. And you want to taste this mixture to make sure that it's seasoned well. Add a little bit more salt. And we're going to cook this down until the tomatoes are not raw anymore. I'm going to combine this with our black eyed peas. These can be done in advance to this stage. Um, you can chill them. You might even be able to freeze them. And just bring them back up to a boil before you do this finishing step. And at this point, we're just going to pour all of this into our plain stewed peas. And all this needs is a few minutes to let all the flavors marry, and we are ready to serve. So while our peas are getting finished, we're going to get our garnishes ready. I really like this dish with a little chopped cilantro. You can definitely use parsley. If you don't like cilantro, you can use both. Uh, we've got some green onions and a little sour cream. You can use yogurt if you prefer. And we're going to serve our black-eyed peas on this rice. I'm going to just build a plate here. Just put down a little rice. And we're going to get a ladle. some peas right on top. And I like a little drizzle of lemon juice. And put down your cilantro, a little bit of green onion, and a little dollop sour cream and there you have it Indianish Hoppin' John